for my final experiment, I have built an orgone accumulator using Reich's original design. His plans call for alternating layers of metal and insulating material surrounded by wooden metal. According to Reich, the orgone energy will be attracted to the metal and then stored by the insulator. I've also created a fake accumulator that looks similar but has hollow walls. My hypothesis is that the subjects in the accumulator will be affected by the orgone energy, while those in the fake box will not. Each subject will be connected to a series of sensors to measure heart rate, breathing, temperature, sweat, and brain waves. Just felt like I was a bit high when we in the way. <laughs> I don't know if this is intentional, but this room is like the perfect temperature. It's like kind of weird. I think at one point I was kind of just like zoned out. It feels like tingly in my chest. That's weird, actually. My fingers kind of feel a bit tingly now, actually. I felt really calm, but then also I had like a sense of energy. My energy and the energy in the box was just like one. And then at the very end, I kind of felt the, the waves of excitement come back again. It was really weird. <laughs> Based on the subject's preliminary responses, the orgone accumulator is having an impact. Next, I send a group into the fake accumulator. I felt very claustrophobic and hot. I feel really anxious. I didn't really feel much. I just kind of just sat there and waited. A bit conscious of my breathing. I'm waiting for the benefits to kick in. <sighs> the lack of stimuli is kind of nice. I felt like I wanted to bust out of there. I consider myself an introvert, but I can go for some human interaction soon. The initial feedback from the group placed in the fake box is far more negative than the first group who spent time in the accumulator. The anecdotal evidence suggests that there was something to the accumulator. To help me find out why, I turned to my sensors. The wireless brainwave monitors failed in Reich's invention. The metal-lined accumulator blocks electromagnetic waves. Fortunately, my hardwired sensors still work. The data from the heart rate sensors is not conclusive. No pattern emerges from either group. If you got tired and sleepy. Next up, my breathing sensors. And here the data starts to get interesting. I think I've ever been this relaxed. What is this magical box? The longer participants sat in the accumulator, the deeper their breathing became. This would indicate the subjects are entering a state of tranquility. The stress sensors back up the idea that there's something to the box. The data from them shows that stress levels for subjects in the fake accumulator rose the longer they stayed inside the box. Well, I don't like it. While the stress levels of those in the real accumulator decline. Very interesting. I'm feeling quite calm in here, if that makes any sense. Oh, something's happening. This is amazing. Was there something happening inside the accumulator? Anecdotal responses and preliminary data from the sensors indicate a difference between the Reich accumulator and the control. 